Good. Sarah, lovely to catch up at Same NRF. Here. Um, why don't you just do a quick introduction of yourself for the, for the audience? Um, so my name is Sarah Levinson. Yep. Uh, I work for a company called Live Person. We're very excited to be here. We are a 22-year-old public company. Um, we pioneered the chat space. Nice. Uh, but we like to think that chat was really cool in the late <laughs> 90s. <laughs> um, and we are now focused primarily on messaging channels. Okay. Um, so think about the things you use every day to talk to your family and friends. So mm -hmm. iMessage, Facebook Messenger, yep. SMS text, WhatsApp yep. in the UK and Australia and beyond across the globe, WeChat, those kinds of channels. Nice one. Um, it's a great time to be there. I joined about two years ago. Yep. Um, and I work as a strategic account director there, which is a fancy way of saying yeah, I... Yeah, I was going to say, what, 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 does that, what does that mean? Yeah, so I help some of the biggest brands in the world start okay. their journey to becoming conversational. Nice. Um, so the same way that you talk to family and friends is the same way that you want to shop, right? Yep. But typically when you have an issue with the brand, you've got to call their 1-800 number, maybe send an email. Yeah. If you're lucky, you can have yeah. kind of the old school chat experience. Yeah. So we're trying to take those brands and, and make them what we call conversational companies. And where, do, where does it, norm, it's maybe a broad question, but where does that conversation start with your clients? Like, you know, at the start of the journey, what does that, what does yeah, that look so like? There's, yeah, so there's lots of different places to start it. Many companies um, are now enabling something called Apple Business Chat, okay. um, which uses native Apple messaging. And if you think about the way you search for a brand, so let's say you want to find the closest Home Depot retail store. Mm -hmm. Um, and you get the maps option in Siri to direct you to that store, yeah. you now see an option to message that company and you start using iMessage. So Home Depot actually appears in your thread with nice. the rest of your friends and family. Wow. And, and at that point basically becomes a contact in your phone. Um, another common endpoint is just enabling messaging in the website or in mm -hmm. the app. So connecting those digital experiences with a conversation experience. Um, and then social channels, um, and, and many companies are starting to actually replace email support okay. with a text number, so you can just reach out that way. And from a from a internal perspective for a brand or a client, like what who who's the skill set right yeah. behind this in terms of you know managing the conversational channels? Like what what kind of skill set or role does it look like on your client side? Yeah. yeah. So so the standard is kind of the, the agent sitting in the contact center. Okay. And it's pretty fun because we we kind of revolutionize their job. So yeah. many people are afraid like bots are going to replace contact center people or other roles. But mm. but actually what happens in our case is. Agents become bot managers, they learn new skills, they learn to build bots, yeah. um, they learn to respond to these digital conversations versus being on the phone all day. Mm -hmm. um, so they actually start to talk to each other in the contact center and they have a much different role. Um, and then we have some kind of non-traditional deployments that allow um, agents that are actually, or, or I should say retail representatives that are actually in a store to respond to messaging conversations. Yeah. So in their downtime, if they're not busy at a, a brick and mortar location, mm. they can actually respond to these messages. So it takes on kind of different different roles. Nice. And NRF, how's it going so far? NRF is going great. The, the best part about NRF for me is I've worked in retail for a long time, almost yeah. eight years now across different companies. Um, and I, and, and I, as I see the same faces over and over, they kind of feel like friends at this yeah. point. <laughs> I mean, many of them have been my customers over the year, but it's nice to see those faces. And then from our perspective at the booth, um, you know, we've seen some tremendous uptick in the adoption of, of conversational, okay. right? So when I first joined two years ago, people were kind of still trying to figure out how are we going to use messaging as a brand? How are we going to use AI? What kind of bots are we going to use? And now it's like, we got to get in this train right now. Like mm -hmm. we need to be having these conversations mm -hmm. uh, because a lot of brands are starting to do it. So we've had lots of buzz at the booth, um, really interesting conversations. It's been great for us so far. Nice one, nice one. And uh, for those first timers to New York, what's your, what, what are your top tips? So I had an awesome dinner last night at yeah. the Nomad Hotel. Yes. Um, amazing cocktails, amazing yep. dinner, That's great spot, place hey. to take clients if you're at NRF. Um, I think there's some traditional touristy things you can do, <laughs> yeah. you know, we're obviously really close to, to Times Square and other places. Um, love the Nomad. I love the new Hudson Yards development. Mm -hmm. it, it seems weird because it's a mall, but there's some amazing restaurants yeah. in there. The guy that um, opened Momofoku has a restaurant in there. 
Um, so restaurants, I'm hearing a big restaurant Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm kind of a foodie, so <laughs> that, that's a fun thing for me. Um, I think that's a, a great thing to take advantage of, as well as like, I try to always do the MoMA when I'm here. Yes. Get some culture going, nice. you know. Yeah, it's yeah. good, good. Well, Sarah, thanks so much. Same here, it was great to talk with you. Nice to talk to you, have a good show. You too, thanks. Yes.